Hi, my name is Dustin, and this video is about using Inkscape with laser cutters. Inkscape is a free illustration program. Laser cutters are power tools, essentially, that are fantastically useful. They can do a lot of things, but people ask me all the time uh, if I can do certain things with the laser cutter, and I can, but making the artwork can be somewhat difficult, and explaining how the artwork works uh, can also be a little time consuming. So this video is going to just quickly show you how to use Inkscape to create artwork that's compatible with laser cutters. Uh, I'm going to talk briefly about the difference between raster versus vector, how to trace things with the Bezier tool which is a fantastic way to import artwork that's compatible with laser, a couple of different ways of doing text, and the difference between etching with the laser and cutting with the laser, and how to signal those differences with Inkscape. So what can you do with a laser cutter? Well there's all kinds of things you can do. This is a picture of a working model trebuchet that I built and here's all the parts that I cut out on the laser and then glued together to make the trebuchet and I laid all of this out in Inkscape and uh, cut it out and then glued it together and it works great. So this is Inkscape and this is a new document and I have a couple of different pictures here. One of them is a photograph of a cat wearing glasses and another one is a picture of an or is rather is an illustration of the outline of a dog. Both of these can be sent to the laser and they do different things. Pictures like this when you send them to the laser you have to send them in raster mode and you have to touch them up a little bit to get them to work. The first thing that you would do is you would convert this photo to black and white and then you would want to make it as high contrast as possible uh, and a lot of times I will use a paint program and I will use a halftone filter in order to get a really good picture for the laser. The problem with the raster on the laser is that it's really slow. It makes fantastic looking artwork, but it takes a really long time. And that's because the laser head goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for every little line that's in the picture, and it varies the laser power as it goes back and forth. And it takes a really long time to get over the entire picture. A one inch by one inch square picture uh, can take 15 minutes, and larger pictures, an eight and a half by eleven picture, uh, can take over two hours on the laser. It comes out looking fantastic, but you have to wait a long time and if something goes wrong in the middle of the process you have to start over and it's pretty frustrating. This on the other hand is a line drawing of a dog. This line drawing uh, can use what's called vector mode on the laser and instead of going back and forth back and forth and varying the power of the laser the laser just literally traces the outline at whatever power and speed you tell it and comes back and picks up uh, the details and so this picture of a dog uh, can be printed on the laser really quickly within a few seconds as opposed to this picture of the cat which could take uh, hours literally. So when you're doing artwork, uh, when you want to get artwork into the laser, a lot of times a really good thing to do is to actually start with a photograph like this one and use the Bezier tool to trace the things that are important. So over here, this is the Bezier tool, and it draws curves and straight lines. So we're just going to trace our cat, and I'm going to do this pretty roughly, and it's not going to look great at first because the great thing about illustration programs is once you've drawn a line, you can come back and edit the points on the line, and we'll come back and we'll get her glasses in a second. Uh, to be exactly where you want. So when you're first tracing, you don't have to be super accurate. You just have to get close enough. So here we've drawn kind of the outline of our cat's head. And as you can see, you know, it's pretty rough. So what we're going to do is we're going to touch it up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take all the points, and here I'm going to hold shift and click the points to select extra ones. Uh, we're going to select points that are not corners on this shape that are supposed to be rounded and we'll just pick them all up quickly here and we'll click this make selected nodes smooth which will smooth out the picture um, which makes uh, which makes it kinda look better already it's not fantastic yet, but when you're uh, tracing animals, especially that have lots of curves in them, 
uh, and lots of other things, you can trace them roughly and then make the node smooth and it'll kind of automatically give it these nice curves. So then you can use this pointer tool and you can actually move the dots around if you need to, if you misplace some and you don't like where they ended up. So then you can come back with the Bezier tool and you can add more lines and then if you don't close a shape you can hit enter on the keyboard and it'll finish the shape for you. So we'll just add some lines to fill in our cat's ears uh, and maybe we'll take her eye line here make that into a shape now, if you hold control and spin the mouse wheel, you can zoom. So you can zoom in to get the fine details. And it can also help you when you want to select the nodes. And put in the curves. Now the other trick you can do is if you've selected a path with this tool, which is the, the point tool, if you double click on a place on the line, it'll add a node, which a lot of times you'll find is pretty handy because you forgot to add some nodes or you want to move things around in a way that the nodes that you made in the first place don't really work for. The other thing you can do is you can drag select nodes. Or if you selected a line, you can hit Control A and it'll select all the nodes all at once. So now if we move our picture away, we can see what our cat head looks like. Not bad, it could use a little bit of work, but you can see how quickly you can start with a drawing and end up with a pretty reasonable illustration. And then this illustration we can send straight to the laser and we can etch this uh, right out on the laser and it would just trace the lines and it wouldn't take very long at all. <laughs> So doing text on the laser doesn't work just like printing. Anytime you do some text, you can see it comes out dark and the laser wouldn't really know what to do with this. In fact, when you send this to the laser, it doesn't understand the inside, it'll actually do the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select no fill, and I'm going to select a black stroke, and you can see what the text is now going to look like when it comes out on the laser. And this looks pretty good. Uh, it takes a little bit of extra time to go around the insides and the outsides of every letter, but you have another choice when you're doing text on the laser. You can use any font that's in the system and you can just set its outline like this. Or you can get an extension and install it and it would be under render and it's called Hershey Text. And Hershey Text is a single stroke text that's specifically designed for CNC and lasers. And this particular plugin has a couple of <coughs> different fonts and it just sticks it kind of randomly somewhere on the screen so a lot of times you have to to go looking for it. Uh, it's got this this plain font right here and then it has a script font. If you pull down the drop down you can see it's actually got quite a few different strokes um, but the two most useful ones for 
the laser are the sans one stroke and the script one stroke because all of those are just exactly what they say it's one stroke instead of multiple strokes per letter and so you can see there's some fancy cursive type script and you can send this straight to the laser without having to uh, fiddle with it at all now <clears throat> when you make these here's another little trick the that you can do with the Hershey text. Sometimes you want to put text uh, in Inkscape, you want to wrap it around uh, a curve or a line or a circle or something like that. So if we had a circle and we wanted to wrap the text around it, uh, there's a tool for doing that with plain text, but it doesn't work with um, Hershey text because Hershey text is actually a, a type of shape. So I'm going to quickly convert this circle to a path which um, gives it a set of points instead of uh, the default circle stuff uh, which makes it easier to, to put around a path and then what I'm going to do with the Hershey text is I'm going to select it and I'm going to ungroup it which under which is under object ungroup so now every single letter is a different uh, entity uh, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under path and I'm going to combine the letters so it's all one path and that makes it possible for me to then, I'm going to hold shift, I'm going to select my circle, I'm going to go to extensions, generate from path, pattern along path, and I'm going to apply. And you can see this isn't exactly what I expected because uh, the mistake that I made is I selected things in the wrong order or the text was higher than the circle um, in, the, in the Z order or lower than the circle in the Z order. So I'm going to hit Control Z, get rid of that. I'm going to select the text. I'm going to move it to the top in the Z order. I'm going to select the circle again. And then pattern along path puts the text on the circle, which is pretty handy. But now you can see that the text isn't really turned the way that we want it to be. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll rotate the text. But um, when we rotate the text, it's going to rotate around this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to move that point to the center of the circle. Um, and we can actually make that find the center of the circle um, by selecting uh, the right snap to options and then when we turn the text it'll go around the circle wherever we want it. So that's some quick tricks with text. <laughs>